Hi, and welcome to a video recorded in front of this horribly lit white wall in the rancid Motel 6 in California that we were staying at for Nam. I'm sorry about the god-awful, you know, lighting, background, audio, pretty much awful everything in this video, but, you know, there's not much I can do because I want to discuss a matter so pressing that I actually wanted to record it before Nam. With, you know, I'm recording it after Nam right now, but I didn't really want to, you know, mention <laughs> where uh, we're staying while we'd still be staying here for the next three or four days. But we're checking out of this dump tomorrow, thank fucking God, and flying back home. So, um, I feel safe doing it now. <laughs> the pressing matter of which I spake is, of course, Kerry King's new Dean signature guitar. The plumbing is making very interesting noises right now. <laughs> now, Kerry King is a man, a guitar player, who I am very fond of, who I relatively recently in a video have actually defended from, uh, let's say, trolls on the internet. But, you know, in recent days, his choice of signature guitars has been very interesting. Now, first of all, I don't understand why this man still has signature guitars in the first place, right? And this is what a lot of people touch on in the comments um, under Dean's Instagram and stuff like that, because... He has no band anymore. Now, Gary Holt, um, Gary Holt can have as many new signature guitars as he wants, because he was in Slayer, Slayer disbanded, he still has Exodus. Exodus was his main band anyway, kind of. Because he was in Exodus before he joined Slayer, and then Exodus outlived Slayer with him in it, so... But with Kerry, Slayer was always his only project, and... Well, now Slayer is dead, has been for, I don't know, almost three and a half years now, I think. And in that time period, he has gotten two Dean Signature guitars. Now, very, 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 very briefly, during Slayer's farewell tour in 2019, or I think it was even early 2020 already, um, he played his first Dean Signature guitar, which was his, like, horrid-looking satin black flying V with the disgusting, like, crab hooks at the bottom. And when I made my Signature guitar tier list with KDH, we just put that thing, like, straight into F tier, straight in the bin, didn't even acknowledge it further than that. But now, three years into Kerry doing f all on a musical level. I have no idea, as does anyone else besides his wife, what they do at home. Like, he could be in his underwear, on his couch, watching HGTV 24 hours a day for all any Slayer fan knows, and not, you know, planning anything musical. I know there's supposed to be, like, a success at a Slayer coming up or whatever, but that's that was supposed to happen for, like, I don't know what, the past three years. Like, there were rumors at some point about Phil Anselmo being the front man of that, and I think that's a pretty dead plan, but, you know, it, it's all just fairy dust. And then recently, Dean said, hey, let's give this man a second signature guitar. Now, I know that seeing as I just you know, came back from Nam, and, you know, this is the last day at the motel and everything, you're probably thinking, I'm about to insert some Nam footage of me hunting down that guitar and, you know, I don't know, testing it out, or at least standing there and pointing at it in person, but I could not find Dean's booth, and I honestly couldn't be bothered to hunt them down to that extent for this lazy-ass, like, half-assed, uh, you know, early moist critical uh, kind of video. <laughs> so I'll just be quoting Dean's Instagram. The new Dean USA custom shop Kerry King Signature Overlord, where well, that's a mouthful, is the pinnacle of craftsmanship and our second unique groundbreaking design in collaboration with Kerry. Now, um, I do not doubt for a second that the craftsmanship is fantastic. You know, I've never held, uh, let alone owned, a custom shop Dean guitar. In fact, up until now, I didn't know Dean guitars had a custom shop. It is most certainly not worth the price that they are trying to shove it down your throat for, which is 6,500 US dollars. You heard that right. It is almost seven grand. Now, if I can take you back a few years to his first Dean Signature guitar, which is, you know, I, I just mentioned that a couple minutes ago, I think that was available on, like, even Toman and stuff for around 1200 maybe 1500 euro, which is a reasonable price for a guitar of that quality. You know, I, I, I always say I don't like EMGs and everything, but they are expensive, and so are Kayla Bridges, especially his signature Kayla Bridge, and, you know, the materials, the finish, all of that, two, up to 2000 would have been justified for that guitar, I find. 7000 for this one is not. Now, what makes it, in their eyes, a $7,000 guitar, I think, is A, the fact that it's Kerry King's signature, even though that means nothing anymore, because he's the ex-guitarist of a band which has disbanded now, and hasn't been doing anything on a musical level since, and B, because it has, like, battery-powered LED Luminlay side dots and a Sustainiac pickup in it, which is the only thing besides the horrible, lopsided, crab-leg shape that differentiates it from the shape before that. 
Like, I'm serious. What? Well, who thought of this shape? I mean, it, it, I don't know if he has like kids by now. He might have a toddler by now. You know, kind of since Slayer disbanded and told his you know little tiny infant toddler child to doodle a guitar for him, and then went up to Dean and said, "Hey, I want this as my new fucking signature guitar." I don't know. It looks like he put a satin black uh, like Jackson Warrior in the oven for a bit too long, forgot about it, and it melted. This guitar features a solid mahogany body, a maple top with set through three piece maple neck, Kerry King C shaped neck profile, which means nothing. It's just a C-shaped neck, or at least I, I'd assume so. I don't know what makes it a Kerry King C-shape, because, I don't know, C-shapes are kind of the same, usually. That's the point of giving them a name. 24.75-inch scale length, which I think is like Les Paul scale length. Ebony fingerboard with handcrafted pearl custom inlays accompanied with ultra-vibrant LED fret markers along the side. Yes, it still has those awful-looking asymmetrical staggered pentagram inlays that, I don't know, it looked like they were designed by a 13 year old. And while it is cool to see more guitars using a Sustainiac pickup, and man, if anyone can use the Sustainiac, it would be Kerry King with his fucked up whammy bar solos. A Sustainiac doesn't make any guitar worth 7,000. Like, do Solar guitars have lumen lace side dots too, and they have Sustainiacs too, at least, you know, some of them do. Schecter's have Sustainiacs too. There is no Schecter guitar for 7,000. There is no Solar for 7,000. Not even the, the like, master-built European Solar guitars are 7,000. Nothing, no guitar that has, that doesn't have, like, some imaginary value added to it, like, I don't know some famous guitar player owned it. This is because this is an artist owned. If it was Kerry King owned and played, I I suppose maybe I could see how a custom shop guitar that was owned and played by him could be worth seven thousand in some universe. But this is none of that. This is a brand new guitar that they are trying to shove down your slimy little throat for six thousand five hundred dollars. No one's gonna buy that. Especially because Kerry King is currently not anyone. He, he's the ex-guitarist of Slayer, which is cool, and I still like him, and I will listen to whatever project he comes up with next, if that happens. But as of right now, it's a signature guitar for someone who's kind of been completely under the radar for the past three and a half years. No one's heard any news about him. He doesn't have any social media, even. His wife does, but it's private. He's just the most low-key person in the music <laughs> business right now, and he's getting two new signature guitars and both of them are hideous. This one more so than the other one, which I, I could hardly, if you told me two months ago that they were gonna make an even uglier version of his signature guitar, I wouldn't have believed you. But yeah, like the bottom half of the body is essentially the same as, you know, the one before. This is just kind of the flying V bottom with those ugly hooks. The headstock is also indistinguishable because it's just that V shape, you know, flipped upside down. But then they added that top that just makes it look like you stepped on a spider. And, you know, that's what was at the bottom of your shoe afterwards. So thank you for watching this, uh, admittedly, absolutely horrible video. I, I know that, but I just, I, I couldn't wait any longer because by the time I get home, I'll be incapacitated for like a day and a half because jet lag is going to hit like a fucking cast iron shovel. So I just wanted to get this out of the way so I can edit the NAMM video on the plane, upload it, and then just sleep for like a day. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> I'll see ya. Goodbye.